So in our shop, we've somewhat gained a reputation for using obscene amounts of epoxy in our projects. So I got to thinking, instead of using epoxy in our projects, why not use it for our projects? So what we're gonna attempt is for the first time in my life to cast something using this crazy conglomeration. And what we're gonna cast are these $150 a piece lenient, no, I'm lying. Come on, guys. We're gonna cast these Boost Mobile chisels that I got at a garage sale no less than nine years ago. And we're gonna see how sharp I can get this resin and see if they actually work. To make the mold, I'm gonna need to make a little box for the chisels. And to do so, I think I have some melamine. Are we gonna make out a box? So my hot glue gun's out of glue. We're scrapping the melamine concept and we're gonna use these, these cups. These, we're gonna sit like this. So we just need a way to suspend them, kind of, like, like that. But as you can see, the tangs aren't full, full length. So Sam came up with the idea where we'll use a cup like this. Then we're going to use the Tyvekian tape. This is very special. John never puts out experimental content. What the hell is he doing? We're going to take this drastically ambitious concept in which Sam came up with this. We cram things in the cram hole like this. And then we're going to hang them down in there. So I'm going to cut this close to the size of the interior because the interior tapers and then the whole thing can go inside. That'll make your ears bleed. All the unsafe practices. And then we just make sure they're not like too far up. And we should still get a pretty decent tang. This this is some DIY shit right here. <laughs> Perfect, that'll work great. Okay, so we're pouring in around it, right? Yeah. Ironically, these things don't tell us how much it is by volume, it's by weight. And uh, this, not how that works. Prepping for surgery? I tell you what, a lot of people on the internet bash Harbor Freight. Nobody, and I mean nobody, sells better nitrile gloves. And I will go to my grave, believe they said if you don't pour them exactly simul- Ooh, that looks so cool. Check it out. Why is it so goopy? Oh, the goop. If we just need like the tiniest bit more, I'm gonna be so pissed. It is, how is it still coming out so voluminously in the, in the yellow one? It's like, it's like a thick stream still. My hands hurt. <laughs> Go for it. This is not good. It's sticking. Uh, need another pot. That is so much easier to stir. It makes such better noise. Now let's wipe off my ridiculously nice and expensive workbench from whatever goppity gloop we got on it. And we will see you in tomorrow. So it's the next day, the mold set. Here's a little teaser. This was like the cup, the mixing cup. I've literally never done anything with this and it could arguably be one of the most satisfying things ever. Check this out. How cool is that? John, you're making those sound effects. Wiggle. Mm. Yeah, that's working. I see it. Come on. Come on. Mm. Well, that's
that's the biggest one. We did have one inch. Oh, one three quarter and a half. The, so weird. Look at this. I don't know why I find this so entertaining, but look. What's that look like? It's got a heartbeat. An irregular one. Okay. I have uh, gotten the appropriate amount of epoxy. <clears throat> This should make a couple chisels. We're once again gonna go with the Eco Epoxy. This is their, one of their casting molds. Flow cast, pours crystal clear. It's got like a, I think it's a two day, two or three day dry time. So this is gonna have to unfortunately sit for a little bit, but is going to be so awesome when it's done. Sorry for your ears. God. <laughs> Smells like. Maple syrup. All right, so we don't need much of this. I'm gonna guess we're gonna need like, I'm gonna go four ounces to two ounces. Six ounces should be good. This, this, this is the water aspect. Sounds efficient. What does it say how long to mix? Five minutes. Okay. Funnels are for losers. I don't think with this type of epoxy you really need to vibrate. I'll well, just give it a little initial knock on wood and plastic for luck and for releasing of the boobles. So it's about five days later and we finally have hard resin. Somewhere in the midst of all of this, I must have mixed this wrong, but what we really think went wrong here was uh, the shop is like 50 degrees and it says right on the bottle, like literally directly on it, that it needs to be 75. Who would think that science and temperature would matter? Anyway, let's get these chisels out. Ooh, do I try to keep these to reuse or should I cut it? I'll just cut it open, huh? It's like so fun to stab this stuff. It's also terrifying. I'm scared. Me too. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Dude! Oh! It's, <laughs> it's so much better than I thought it was. Oh, it's like perfect. Get out of there. Damn it, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's still fleshy. Oh! <gasps> I can't even see it because it's clear. It's the perfect shape. It's just a pool noodle. But it's coming back. So this is what the uh, resin was actually like a couple days ago. Here, <laughs> before that hardened up. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, it's so cool. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's get the rest out. They look sweet. <laughs> if they just freaking harden up. Like, oh, it's so, what's, how is this? This is like, Pretty hard. and then this is the same stuff. Also kind of hard. And then these are. My only guess is like, it didn't. This has to be an insulator. Yeah. Maybe what we can do is go some Japanese on them. And by then I mean kind of have a little taper on the bottom. So I've turned uh, one thing ever. Two, actually two. I turned this handle and this mallet. I'm obviously qualified enough to turn the handles for this. So I'm gonna take this chunk of leftover cherry from something I destroyed years ago and we're gonna chuck it up on the lathe and pray. All right, so one thing I think I know is that you're supposed to find center on your blank. These are, like I said, cherry cutoffs from an old project. We're gonna drill the hole to fit this. So this is in inches, 0.32, which would be like 3 eighths. So we're gonna start out with a quarter inch hole and go up to... Two eighths, four seconds. 
Five sixteenths. I don't know. To the drill press. We've got a, what'd you say this is? 19 sixty-fourths? 21 sixty-fourths inch bit. Got everything set. A chisel like this needs a ferrule because it's a, got a tang. Tang. Uh, so I only have three quarter inch conduit to use as a ferrule and I wanna polish this up before we use it. So we're gonna turn this, stick it in both ends and then slowly put on the lathe because I can't machine. Uh, so it's about to get squirrely. That's what I'm trying to do. This is, this is squirrely as hell. But I'm happy with how that looks. So, <laughs> lemonade! <laughs> we'll just worry about how it looks when we get it down to tiny little parts. But I'm just gonna practice on this one, I think, because, you know, practice. So, the practice run was exactly that. We found biscuits in this cutoff, is, that's what these are. But I'm not too displeased with how, impor how poorly I turned this. The ferrule, I pared it down too much, but I could definitely pound this in, um, and, and this would be fine for awfulness. So, rinse and repeat. We're gonna make the blank a little bit bigger, that way I have more room to play. Um, and I'll just take my time a little bit more because this seems like it's gonna be the hardest part of this build. <laughs> so, I have a cutoff from the first river table, which happens to be Clara Walnut that is no less than like $50 a uh, board foot. Let's square this up and make some blanks. That looks like a handle. So these uh, are not getting hard enough. I talked to the manufacturer, it's a casting resin, it's uh, the chemical science of it uh, performs best when it's over an inch thick in the pour. So I tried baking them in the oven and all it did was yellow them. Um, so we're gonna try another epoxy and give this another go. There's an extremely high likelihood that these will have bubbles in it because I didn't put this in a pot and we can't go buy a pot because it's the apocalypse. Ooh. Okay, friends. I do not have high hopes for this at all. Pretty sure it was the completely wrong type of epoxy and a completely way too fast drying time. Good news is, I already cut this Smurf dump open before, so I don't have to do that again. Oh boy, come on, come on. Oh, that's actually not even, that's not as close to as bad as I was expecting. It's better than I mean, this <laughs> was the like leftover. Yellow, it's like hobo piss. But this is like, it's kind of clear. It's not perfect. It's still cool. It's hard, which is something that didn't happen the last time we took things out of this. All right. All right. This is, this could be worse. <laughs> Hopefully I can make these things cut me. Clean them up with some resin, or excuse me, acetone, and then I'm gonna try and sharpening one. Ready, break. All right, so this is um, an off cut of granite. 
I use this quite often. You can stick some sandpaper on it and now you have a flat reference surface. It's a little grittier. So instead of carrying like a super aggressive uh, wet stones, I use these. And then I also like flatten box lids and stuff with them. Let's try to get this one sharp. All right, we're gonna try this again. We're back on the jig. We're going for the 25 degree angle. 20 hours later. All right, we are stropped. I gotta say this. It looks like a chisel. It does look like a chisel. Now, paper. <sighs> Why aren't you working? That's just tearing, it's not cutting. Nothing's working. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but nothing is literally, I, I just don't know if resin can get hard enough. So, this is a cutoff, this is a, the, what was left over in the bucket from the last river table we did. So we're gonna try the Tormek, because it keeps the plastic cool. I wonder, it's the point. We like, it can't hold a point because it's not a hard enough material. But I watch idiots on the internet make things out of stupid things all the time. If I give it little jabs, I could chisel myself to China like this. Okay, we're getting somewhere. No. Oh. This is something I rarely do, but I'm going to admit defeat. I understand. You can't learn how to win unless you learn how to lose. My dad used to tell me that when he would rub my face in the dirt after spearing me into the ground, teach me to be tough. But with that, we've made uh, seven <laughs> different chisels and we can't get a single one of them to hold an edge. It's getting way too thin at the end here. So I'm unfortunately gonna call it on this project. I really wanted to make some wood shavings with a crystal clear chisel, but it's just not the material for it. So if you got any suggestions on how to actually do it or any other tools I should attempt to make out of resin, let me know, we'll give them a shot. And then I'll see you on an actual project video that I got linked up right here where we successfully make something out of epoxy. Yay!